a device capable of sending and receiving current and voltage signals, is required for calibrating electronic instruments. The Foxborough 8121 current calibrator is such a device. It is designed for Foxborough instruments, but it is suitable for others. We will now identify the controls and terminals. This is the 115 volt AC power cord. When returning it to the lid, be sure the plug is in this position. and not this position. If placed here, and the door closed, the DC milliammeter will be broken. These are the null button and null indicator. They are used when plus or minus 0.25% accuracy is desired. The DC milliammeter is used for reading received or sent current to plus or minus 1%. The resistance adjustment is used to establish the 600 ohm loop resistance when the calibrator is receiving a 10 to 50 milliamp signal. If the loop already has 600 ohms resistance, the knob is set to zero. The current adjustment is used to set the output signal current when the calibrator is transmitting. These positive and negative posts are the output signal connections. And these are used for all input signals. The function switch determines whether the instrument is transmitting or receiving and the range. It is also the power on off switch. The calibrator knob provides milliamp step adjustments and is used with the null button and null meter to give 0.25% accuracy. The portable potentiometer terminals and the portable potentiometer switch allows the input or the output voltage to be read on a potentiometer. The potentiometer feature is rarely used. Instructions on its use are located in Foxborough Instruction Sheet 18476, entitled Model 8121 Current Calibrator. The power cord must be installed and the power turned on for all 0.25% accuracy measurements. Power is not needed for receiving signals to plus or minus 1% accuracy. Be sure the frequency is correct for the instrument by observing the data plate. This instrument is not intrinsically safe. Be sure to use it in the proper area classification or obtain a hot work permit. We will demonstrate three uses of the 8121 calibrator. To receive 10 to 50 milliamp signals, connect the calibrator into the loop as shown here. 
Note that the input terminals are used. Here is a live hookup of the previous schematic. Set the resistance knob for the desired loop resistance. This is 600 ohms for the Foxborough series loop. Set the function switch to 10 to 50 milliamps in. Read the current value on the milliammeter. These readings are plus or minus 1% accurate. The AC power is not needed for these measurements. To measure signals to 0.25% accuracy, the power must be turned on. Turn the calibration knob to one of the desired input valves. Here we have it set at 20 milliamps. Adjust the received signal to where the milliammeter reads 20 milliamps. Push the null button. A deviation indicates the reading is not accurate to 0.25%. Adjust the transmitter until the null is zero. The readout is now 20 milliamps to plus or minus 0.25%. Other inputs such as 30, 40 milliamps are taken in the same manner. We have made no mention of the 0.4 to 2 milliamp feature of the 8121 calibrator. Like the potentiometer feature, it is rarely used. The 0.4 to 2 milliamp use is almost identical to the 10 to 50 milliamp operation. The exception is a special 10,000 ohm resistance built into the input circuit. The calibrator must be powered for transmitting a signal. This figure shows the hookup for transmitting. Note that the output terminals are used. Set the function switch to 10 to 50 milliamp out. No load adjustment for series loop resistance is required. Turn the current adjust fully counterclockwise. Connect the calibrator to the receive as per previous schematic. Adjust the current control knob to give the desired milliamp output. This arrangement provides for accuracy of plus or minus 1%. To transmit to plus or minus 0.25% accuracy, set the calibration dial to the desired output. Adjust the current control until the milliammeter reads what is set on the calibration knob. In our example, it is 30 milliamperes. Push the null button. If there is a deviation, adjust the current control until no deviation exists. When using the null meter, 
the milliamps selected on the five position switch are correct to 0.25 percent. Here it is 30 milliamps. To calibrate a force balance transmitter and use the calibrator as a power source, this configuration is used. The live hookup is shown here. Set the function switch to 10 to 50 milliamps out. Set the resistance knob at 300 ohms. The current adjustment is set at maximum, the fully clockwise position. With the input to the force balance transmitter at the low end of the range, for example, zero input for a zero to 100 inch transmitter, and the calibration switch set at 10 milliamps, push the null button and read the null indicator. Adjust the transmitter zero until the null indicator reads zero. With the input to the transmitter at maximum, in our example, 100 inches of water, and the calibration knob set at 50 milliamps, push the null button and read the null indicator. Adjust the span until the null indicator reads zero. For full calibration, zero and span checks would be repeated and some intermediate range points checked. For now, we are concerned with how to use the calibrator and not the fine details of calibrating the transmitter. There is only one fuse in the calibrator. It is a one quarter amp, 250 volt type 312 3 AG. Now work exercise number one in your workbook.